Hello, my dear ladies and students. A very good evening. So, get back to MBS Learning Institute. I hope you are following regular classes. And one more thing here if you want to follow the regular classes, you will have to subscribe our channel. If you subscribe, you will be notified and alarmed regularly. Otherwise, you will miss important grammar classes. So, regarding in order to improve your communication skills. So come on, let's enter the class. So in previous class we discussed kinds of nouns, especially abstract nouns, how we are able to form from adjectives, verb forms and the common nouns. Okay? So at the end of the class, I have told you that I am going to teach you regarding singular and plural nouns, masculine and feminine nouns, and countable and uncountable nouns. Okay? So this is the class regarding that one. So as I have told you that I am going to teach in next class, now I am going to start it. See, before actually there are, now I am going to tell you how they are divided into three groups. See, the first one, suppose Rahul, Delhi, Pen, Fleet, Greatness. See. Ink. So we are Rahul, Delhi, Pen, Fleet, Greatness, Ink. So what is Rahul here? What kind of noun it is? Proper noun. Delhi also is a proper noun. Pen is a common noun. Fleet is a group word. So that's why it is a collective noun. Greatness, a quality of a person. So that's why it is abstract noun. Ink is a material, material noun. Am I right? So, these are all, okay, these are kinds of nouns. This is a proper noun, this is the common noun, this is the collective noun, this is material noun, this is abstract noun. But, generally, these are all commonly called as nouns. When do you have to come to know the kinds of nouns when you are asked? particularly what kind of noun it is, what kind of noun it is, what kind of noun it is. Then you will have to find out and say the right one. But generally we are all, these are all known as nouns. What are they? Nouns. So these kind of nouns that we can divide such as singulars and plural nouns, masculine and feminine nouns, countable and uncountable nouns. Have you understood? So till now we have discussed the kinds of nouns detailly. But these are all kinds of known as nouns. So noun is one of the part of parts of speech. But kinds of nouns are the parts of nouns. So these are all known as nouns. So these are all nouns are known as again. Singular nouns, plural nouns. Masculine, feminine. Countable, uncountable. So let's know what are the singular nouns, what are the plural nouns. Come on. See here, very simple. Singular nouns, plural nouns. Singular and plural. Plural nouns. See here, Man. Who is man? Singular. What is plural? Man. Yes. Pen is a singular. Pens. Plural. Okay. Suppose you are board. Singular. Boards. Plural. Car. Singular. Cars. 
plural so right here we can form singular and plural nouns okay we understand so these are the singulars these are the plurals how do we have to form okay so singular is nothing but one it it indicates only one man is only one man more than one okay pen one pens more than one there may be two pens three pens four pens and so on more pens okay so yeah but see like here woman women it's here it is woman what is the pronunciation of w o m e n it's not uh, woman it is the right pronunciation is women what is that we mean women okay and see here bus buses okay talk also also talk also noun of course it is a verb but here talks do you understand what i said now so these are the singular nouns and plural nouns but here you will have to remain one what is, what is that see pen here pens added by s here bus added by es but what about men is it added by is it formed by is the plural noun formed by s or es no it is different it is different it is not see here some singular maximum most of the singular nouns which are formed by s or es when it is formed as plural noun when it is formed as plural noun so generally here singular nouns plural nouns so how do we have to form plural noun so most of the people they know here plural nouns are formed by s es to the singular nouns suppose here pens is a plural noun yes the pen pen pens is a plural noun formed by adding s birds formed by adding s here buses formed by adding this plural noun this buses plural noun is formed by adding es to the singular noun i have understood what i said now how can we form plural nouns plural nouns can be formed by s or es to the singular nouns but it is not applicable for all the time so that's why some people they are writing man mans man mans okay goose gooses it's wrong so this is a wrong so that is for one that is a kind of rule but here sometimes the plural nouns cannot be formed by adding s or s to the singular noun so how so here i will have to remind you there are two kinds of plural nouns there are two kinds of plural nouns what are they regular irregular regular irregular what are the regular plural nouns what are the irregular plural nouns see as you know car cars so there is no change here the plural noun cars is formed by adding s to the singular noun car like here bus buses here the plural noun is formed by adding s to the singular noun bus these kind of nouns are called regular plural nouns what are they regular plural nouns there are two kinds of plural nouns regular irregular so simply i want i want you to know very clearly if the plural noun is formed by adding s or es to the singular noun is called regular plural nouns but what about irregular plural noun what about irregular plural noun what about irregular plural noun 
the plural noun which cannot be formed by adding s or es to the singular noun it is formed differently suppose you take your man man child children see such child children hoof hooves okay goose geese goose geese mouse mice louse lice so these are the irregular media medium i am sure what is it now so irregular what are the irregular plural nouns so we discussed here what are the singular nouns what are the plural nouns and also we have discussed the how the plural nouns are formed so plural nouns are formed generally by adding s es to the singular nouns but here there are two kinds of plural nouns regular irregular what are they regular irregular so that's why so regular nouns i i have told you by adding by adding s so irregular plural nouns are formed by adding s or es to the singular noun then those those are called regular plural nouns but what about irregular irregular plural nouns cannot be formed by adding s or es to the singular noun i understood what i said now so how so those are formed differently it's completely different so man man is there any is there any combination between them so no there is no similarity see car cars just we added s bus bus just we added es horse horses just we added s board boards just we added s pen pens just we added s so there is similar but there is no similarity here here there is no similarity it is completely different so medium medium man man child children hoof hooves goose geese mouse mice louse lies so like there are many irregular plural nouns so by watching this class i want you to find some more irregular plural nouns of your own so practice try to find out some more irregular plural nouns there are many there are many irregular plural nouns okay so what's your wife wise knife nice yeah those are called what irregular plural nouns irregular plural nouns so i hope you will search you will search some other plural so some other irregular plural nouns so this is called singular and plural nouns have you understood so here what is it here see here boy boys do you understand boy boys boy is a common noun have you understood but here i have already told you those are different kinds of nouns but those kinds of nouns uh, those kinds of nouns that we can that we can divide such as singular and plural nouns singular and plural nouns so this is the singular this is the plural have understood and we discussed what are the regular plural nouns and irregular plural nouns so as we discussed singular nouns and plural nouns the second one what is countable first let us know later let us discuss what is uncountable so what is countable what we are able to count is called countable what we are able to count is called countable so what is an uncountable what we are able to count is uncountable so first let us discuss what is countable so till just now we have discussed what are the singular nouns and plural nouns the both singular and plural nouns are known as countable nouns 
the both singular nouns and plural nouns known as countable nouns supposing you are man how many people are how many people are here only one man a man is it countable or not yes what is the plural man is it countable or yes it is countable pen how many pens here are only single here pens woman women countable or not yes it is countable so and see here tree trees okay dog dogs cow cows so what are the here so these are all countable so both singular nouns and plural nouns are called countable simple so what are the countable nouns and both singular and plural nouns are called countable so plural nouns both regular and irregular okay i have answered what is it now so that is so here countable what is countable what we are able to count what we are able to count is called countable nouns so we are able to count how many people are there how many things are there okay how many trees are there so this is called countable and understood yes now let us discuss what is uncountable noun what is an uncountable noun see what is an uncountable noun so it is vice versa so countable means what here what you are able to count uncountable what we are unable to count what we are unable to count so unable to count is nothing but there are they, they, yes there is use there is innumerable innumerable means what here countless there is a thing in front of us but we are unable to count so what kind of what kinds of nouns are known as uncountable have understood so countable what you are able to count so countable nouns are known as both singular and plural nouns but what kinds of nouns are called uncountable nouns singular nouns what is that singular nouns how can we say singular nouns are uncountable suppose man is it uncountable singular noun singular nouns are not known as uncountable nouns uncountable nouns are known as singular nouns that is that you have to remind we understand countable nouns are known as both singular and plural nouns so both singular and plural nouns are no are called countable nouns but see what about the uncountable noun what we are unable to count so that's why neither singular nor plural nouns neither singular nor plural nouns are called uncountable nouns but what are the uncountable nouns uncountable nouns which we are unable to count so what are they let's find out suppose see here man we are able to count pen we are able to count suppose take your pen is it able to count or not yes this is one pen how many pens here one pen so it is it is to be counted so that's why it is countable noun but for pen writing what we are using here ink what is that here ink so this is what so pen you are able to count but are you able to count this ink try to count this impossible so here pen is to be possible to be counted pen is possible to be counted so that's why it is countable noun but what about the uncountable noun what we are unable to count so pen is countable for pen as we are using ink for writing is uncountable so ink is an uncountable have understood so makes you know all the material nouns all the material nouns all the material nouns are known as uncountable nouns but these uncountable nouns are called Singular nouns. I am sure what I said now. Countable nouns are known as both singular.
सिंगलर एंड प्लोरोनॉम्स आर बोथ सिंगलर एंड प्लोरोनॉम्स आर कॉल काउंटेबल नॉम्स बिकॉज दे आर टू बी काउंटेड बट एस दे आर टू बी काउंटेड बट वन अबाउट अनकाउंटेबल नॉम्स नेदर सिंगलर नॉम्स नॉर प्लोरोनॉम्स आर कॉल अनकाउंटेबल नॉम्स सो बोथ आर नॉट अनकाउंटेबल नॉम्स बट वन ऑफ द अनकाउंटेबल नॉम्स वाज देयर अनएबल टू काउंट सो पेन इज काउंटेबल बट इन व्हिच वी आर फिलिंग इंक in order to write is called uncountable because ink is not to be counted we can't count so that's why uncountable nouns are known as singular nouns but singular nouns are not known as uncountable nouns remind it singular nouns are not at all uncountable nouns uncountable nouns are known as singular nouns i am sure what i said now yes so was see here i told you all the material nouns which are known as uncountable nouns suppose you take water are you able to count but we can count water how can you please bring me a glass of water so a glass how many glass did you ask only single glass so glass is countable but the water in glass is countable but water is not countable the glass sorry the water in the glass is countable but what is not countable suppose you take here milk what is that here milk milk what is that milk what is milk here yes milk is also material noun it is also uncountable because you can't but it can be counted in the way of liters i want 3 liters of milk 4 meters of milk four sorry four liters of milk five liters of milk see here the milk in the way of liters so that is measuring so how are we measuring here so if we measure the material nouns then they are to be counted but if we want to take the direct material now they are not be counted so that's why so all the material all the material nouns are known as uncountable nouns all the uncountable nouns are known as singular nouns they are not at all considered as plural nouns i am sure what said now so so milk is uncountable noun but the milk which is measured the milk which is measured as Later, then it is known as countable. We understand. So here they need two liters of milk. So here the two liters. We understand. I want a cup of coffee. So see here coffee. Is it countable or uncountable? Uncountable. Uncountable. But a cup of coffee. In cup the coffee is uncountable, but cup is. countable suppose you see food it is not food see here all the students you will have to remain one thing it is not food the right pronunciation is the right not pronunciation also pronunciation the right pronunciation of the word is food but see here foot is countable food is countable this is not food it is foot f o o t foot this is not food it is food so it is pronounced as foot it is pronounced as food so here food is uncountable noun have you understood have you understood or not but see i want a plate of meal what here it is again countable do you understand so food because we can't count it we are unable to count it so i have understood what is it now so maximum all the material all the material nouns are known as countable nouns because we are unable to count see suppose here wood is it countable or uncountable uncountable wood how can we this is wood how can we how can we count it but when it is made as a thing we can count it is known as a tester so that's why this is countable but wood He is not countable. It is uncountable. I am sure what said now. So, so wood when it is made as a thing, it is known as again countable. 
but wood is a wood is an uncountable so this is the difference between countable and uncountable okay so countable words are able to count so both singular and plural nouns are known as countable nouns yeah especially both regular and irregular plural nouns but regarding uncountable nouns neither singular nor plural nouns are known as uncountable nouns that is what here both are not uncountable nouns uncountable nouns are known as which are not to be counted which are unable to be counted so that's why uncountable nouns which are known as singular nouns this is the difference between countable and uncountable nouns so this is the information about singular nouns and plural nouns and the countable nouns and uncountable nouns and the rest masculine and feminine nouns let's discuss in next class about that thank you